Yo, yo, it's Nick's Lotus. You'd like to know how to play against aristocrats, huh? Firstly, we need to clearly establish what an aristocrats deck is and what its goal slash role in the game is. Aristocrat decks are all about setup. They focus around sacrificing their own tokens and creatures in order to trigger on death effects to draw, drain, and downright outvalue you throughout the game. These decks are fairly quick and with the right setup can easily wipe a table if left unchecked. The poster boys of this deck that you've probably seen are cards like Blood Artist, draining each opponent whenever a creature dies, Grave Pact, making the opponents also sack their creatures when their creatures die. Already some scary and interaction there. Cards like Viscera Seer allowing them to sack their creatures, and cards like Dreadhorde Invasion to keep the fuel in the engines by making tokens each turn. These decks are also known for running a fair amount of recursion like Victimize, for example, to reset in case of board wipes or removal. So, how do we play against Aristocrats? First, let's talk about deck building options you can make to help you against these types of decks. Let me be clear, I do not support running cards that are only to deal with one strategy, so all of these recommendations deal with multiple strategies and will never be a dead card in the sense of not having the Aristocrats deck at the table. Okay? Okay? Cool. Cool. Let's talk about removal. Interaction is a nightmare for aristocrats, but we don't want to be destroying their stuff. That would just trigger their on death effects. Exile will be your best friend against these decks. Swap out that fateful absence for a path to exile or a swords to plowshare. Swap out that wrath of God for a merciless eviction. Keep in mind with board wipes, it may be better to stick with normal destroy board wipes if you're also in a graveyard based deck. If that's the case, throw in some extra exile based spot removal and you should be good. Make sure your deck has enchantment removal as well. Enchantments are much harder for them to get back from the graveyard and cards like grave pact and dictate of Erebos are the main reason most decks can't keep up with Aristocrats. So, cards like Aura Shards and Loran of the Third Path are great options for this. If you're in blue, counter spells may be the most powerful tool against Aristocrats, and most decks if I'm being honest. Save them for their sack outlets or death trigger engines, and watch them squirm. Counter spells like Whirlwind Denial and Summary Dismissal are especially good for late game setup Aristocrat boards. You go to remove that Blood Artist, they're just gonna hold priority and sack their entire board and drain you for a billion. You just drop one of these counters and counter every ability on the stack and make them waste their whole board. Yes, the original removal spell we tried to cast will be countered, but so will all of their triggers while making them still sack their board. Great. I didn't know where to put these two cards, so I'll just put them here. Dolphy Voidwalker has my vote for the best card you can run versus Aristocrats. It works against literally every strategy in the game while also putting a stop to the Aristocrats shenanigans. Praetor's Grasp is also a fantastic option for versing Aristocrats. Search for their Grave Pact and keep it in exile, or my personal favorite, search up that Blood Artist, play it, and equal out any early game draining they try to pull. Recursion of your own is a very handy tool in deck building in general, but especially against aristocrats, cards like Dance of the Dead, Reanimate, and Animate Dead will allow redundancy to some of your more important cards, while also allowing you to rip out of your opponent's graveyards, which could either grab a Blood Artist, like I said before, and balance out all the draining, making it useless, or snag that huge dragon out of another player's graveyard that you can just apply the pressure to the aristocrats deck with. These reanimator spells are just good, and I run them in all my black decks. Early game card draw and fixing is also fantastic against most decks, especially aristocrats. Cards like Brainstorm and Ponder will allow you to secure answers to problems very early in the game. Like we said, interaction is Aristocrat's worst nightmare. Next, we'll talk about how to actually play against an Aristocrat's deck. In the early game, focus all your removal on making sure one of two things do not hit the table, sack outlets and death triggers. They play a turn two Blood Artist, you play a turn two Path to Exile. They play a turn four Grave Pact, you play a turn four Rex Sage. Every card you get off their board is more mana they'll have to spend next turn to reestablish. Making them catch up is the name of the game and these low mana cost responses will save us mana to also progress whatever our strategy is in our deck. In the early to mid game, play a aggressive whenever possible, swing at the Aristocrats deck. As we said, remove cards early on in the Aristocrats field to make them reestablish. Drop early to mid-range threats that they'll need to use their removal on. The more removal they're using, the less Aristocrat cards they're playing or have in hand, which allows us some wiggle room. Put that Aristocrats deck on the back foot, back against the walls where their deck clunks up. In the late game, these early to mid-game strategies should have kept you moderately safe, but if they didn't, and sometimes they won't, the name of the game is Reset, Reset, Reset. This is where the board wipes come in, especially the Exile ones. At this point, they're running low on gas and one or two of these wipes should make their tank empty. If you're ahead, just swing, 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 apply pressure, and do not let up. If you're behind, board wipe, remove, and counter to prevent them from comboing out with their engines. Continue your strategy while doing all this and bring home that sweet, sweet victory. Let me know if this video helped you guys out. Also comment down below any decks that you guys have problems playing against because I would love to make this a series and just talk about how to play against these certain strategies. Leave a like, subscribe, share, all that YouTube stuff, and go play some magic, guys.